Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 3 from the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's time for the bonus episode. Uh, in this bonus episode, I'm going to be showing off uh, the max stats of all the characters, uh, all the items uh, in the game, and then we're going to take on Zoma without uh, using the uh, Ball of Light. So, At level 99, the king tells us that Prince Oni is now strong enough, Tennis is now strong enough, Sia is now strong enough, and Indy is now strong enough. But are we strong enough to defeat Zoma without the Ball of Light? Well, we'll find out, so let's check out our stats here. Uh, Prince Oni, level 99, max experience point, strength 218, agility 230, 223, vitality 244, intelligence 135, luck 163, max hit points 427, max MP 229, attack power 338, and defense power 261. Um, all the uh, equipment is Sword of Kings, Armor Radiance, Shield of Heroes, and the Iron Mask that served us a long time. And we have, of course, all the spells because we uh, maxed we uh, maxed out our level. Uh, for Tennyson, uh, I went back and I uh, actually for everybody I went and mastered all the Pilgrim and uh, all the Pilgrim and uh, Wizard spells. So, Tennis and the Soldiers, uh, surprisingly as a soldier, uh, he's maxed out agility, well, not really, uh, she has the meteorite armband on, uh, with strength 198, agility 255 max, vitality 245, intelligence 155, luck 141, um, max HP 365, max MP 172, attack power 288, defensive power 237, and, uh, she has the Demon Axe, which can miss, but has that uh, one in third chance to do a critical hit, so that'll help out. Uh, Dragon Mail for resistances, Shield of Strength to uh, cast on uh, heal more on herself uh, if needed, and then the Iron Mask. She has also, like I said, she's learned all the Wizard spells and all of the Pilgrim spells. Uh, Sadie, same thing, uh, mastered all the spells, uh, she has 255 strength, 246 agility, 214 vitality, 149 intelligence, 220 luck, 338 hit points, uh, 146 maximum MP, attack power of 285, defense of 143, that's because of the high agility, she doesn't have much equipment, as you see, she only has the Iron Claw and the Cloak of Evasion. Uh, they have so little hit points, CD and uh, Tennyson, because when they clash change so many times, their hit points get, get, kept getting cut in half. So that's why they have less than Prince Oni and uh, Indy. And Indy remained the Sage. Uh, so her max 157 strength, 189 agility, 221 vitality, 255 intelligence, 255 luck. That's, of course, because of the goof off that she started with, has a really high luck growth. Max hit points of 404 and max MP of 455 because she never had to change classes after she became a Sage. Attack power 162 and 172 defense. She has lower attack power because she has the Falcon Sword, which allows her to attack twice. Uh, magic Armor has resistance to the uh, to magic and fire, and the Mysterious Hat cuts down on MP uh, usage. And of course, being the Sage, she has mastered everything. Other items that we have, uh, we have uh, Indy can equip oop, the animal suit, and uh, that turns you into an animal as a cat. And I also uh, gave Sadie the uh, revealing swimsuit, and that's just like some magic bikini. It basically changes your sprite to uh, like a bikini. There, the magic bikini does the same thing, but the magic bikini, of course, has much better uh, defensive. Uh, Properties. The magic, the swim, the revealing swimsuit just gives uh, one defense. So kind of pointless to have. And all it does is it changes that sprite. So and then we're gonna go into the vault here and just show off all the all the equipment that we have. Uh, we have some other equipment here. Um, two wings to warp. Tennyson has uh, Sage's stone. Everybody has, uh, except for Prince Ernie, has a stone of life. That way, if someone casts a defeat spell on them, the stone will take that spell instead. Ring of Life to increase, uh, to uh, gain hit points back walking. 
And here is the full uh, vault. We have uh, we have maxed out our gold in the vault. That's the max you can have, uh, 255. We pretty much maxed out our gold. I had to spend eight to heal up at the inn. Uh, but yeah, can't put any more gold in. Uh, and then for item-wise, we can uh, see all the items that we have. So I've gotten all the, all the weapons in the game and all the special items. Water Blaster, Base of Drought, another Stone of Light. I guess I could pull that out and put it on Prince Ernie. A Sphere of Light, we won't be using that for the uh, final boss, Zoma. Leaf of Ra, War Leaf of the War Tree. You can only have one of them. Lamp of Darkness, the Book of Satori, magical, uh, I mean, uh, musical instruments, Silver Hog, Fairy Flute, Echoing Flute, all three of the keys, uh, some uh, other items, Wizard Ring, Shoes of Happiness, you get them from Metal Babbles, uh, you wear them and uh, you get uh, one point of experience every time you take a step on the ground. Wizard Rings, of course, uh, use the Restore uh, MP. And then we have all the different, uh, all the different uh, armors going uh, body armor going back alphabetically. So Wayfarer's Water Training, Sword Edge Armor, Shell Armor, Sacred Robe, Revealing Swimsuit, Magic Bikini, that's what you get from the King Mozon, dropped items only, half plate, full plate, flashy clothes, everything, can, all the stuff you can buy. And then we have uh, helmet gear, same thing, uh, headpieces. Uh, going back uh, alphabetically, we have another mysterious hat there that we can give to one of our characters if we wanted to have better magic. And then we go with shields, and then we go uh, into uh, weapons. Wizard Wand, Zombie Slasher, uh, Thunder Sword, Thor Sword, which you can win from those uh, boss trolls. Uh, Sword of Destruction, uh, I think from the Green Dragons. A lot of the stuff you can only win from uh, fighting enemies. But of course, getting to level 99, I uh, of course fought a lot of enemies, so uh, I just grinded up and got that stuff that I needed from all the drops. Snow Blast Sword is also another one you can only get from enemy drops. So I have a Golden Claw. Could equip that, give our. Uh, uh, Sadie some better attack power, but then of course we'd have all those uh, random encounters, so... And there's all that. Uh, one of the things that uh, helped make leveling a little easier is, once you defeat the game, uh, because Oni, Prince Oni never has to uh, change classes, he can, uh, he, he usually will hit his uh, max experience before anybody else, because when you change class, you lose all your experience. But, so he'll be level 99 before anybody else, but what you can do is you can uh, leave Prince Oni behind uh, once you de defeat the game. Uh, so we can actually finally part with Prince Oni, and then that way we have uh, less characters, and uh, less characters means that the experience gets divided between less people, because if you have a hun uh, gain 100 experience per battle, there's four of you, you get 25. But if there's only three, you get 33. So I was able to drop off uh, Prince Ernie, and I was also able to uh, then drop off uh, Indy because she was the sage and didn't have to change classes. That was basically running with a two-person uh, party, a two-ratty party, ten uh, Tennyson and Sadie, while they uh, maxed out, uh, you know, their levels, getting the uh, all the pilgrim and the wizard spells. So that's how I did that. And now we're going to see what all those max stats can do when we. Uh, Go take on Zoma with uh, out using the Sphere of Light. I'll catch you there in front of Zoma. Bye. All right, everybody. I'm here with the Max Party in front of Zoma. Uh, I'm going to be taking him on without the uh, Sphere of Light. We left that back in the vault in Aaliyah hand. Uh, even though we're level 99, he's still going to be pretty tough. Uh, so we're going to have to kind of fight pretty smart. Uh, use a lot of buffs and debuffs on him. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to get by kill up on uh, Sadie. Uh, because Sadie has the best critical hit chance, uh, 99 over t uh, 256, because that's how the fighter's uh, hit rate is uh, calculated. So it's basically a 39% chance to uh, get a critical hit for uh, her, where everybody else has just a uh, 1 in 64 chance, which is uh, roughly uh, like 1.5%. So. 
City is going to be much better damage dealer. Uh, to help increase the amount of damage that we do, we're going to want to cast Sap on Zoma to lower his defense. And to lower the amount of uh, damage that he does on us, we're going to put up the Barrier spell. Uh, that's going to cut down on the damage from his Breath Attacks. And he tends to use uh, uh, a Breath Attack like every round. Uh, he tends to use a Breath Attack, then uh, cast a spell. Uh, a breath attack, use a uh, uh, bite to take away your, your buffs, uh, or do like a straight physical attack. So yeah, he's always going to be going two times, uh, and usually one of them is going to be that breath uh, hit all. So uh, play uh, play kind defensively. We need it. Actually, Prince Oni, uh, he's probably the least valuable person uh, right now uh, on the team uh, because. Uh, What's it called? He can't, he can't cast the by kill. He can't cast sap. Uh, the only spell he'll be mainly casting in this is uh, the heal us all spell, uh, which is can be a lifesaver. Uh, but like I said, uh, every time Zoma uses that freezing ray to take off all our buffs, uh, it's going to be up to uh, Tennis and Sadie and Indy to reestablish those buffs. Uh, so Tennis and Sadie are going to want to buy kill themselves, and Indy's going to want to throw up that uh, barrier to reduce our damage. Uh, so yeah, it would be nice if uh, you know, Prince Oni could contribute to one of those buffs, or any of those buffs, but he can't, so uh, he'll just uh, use his uh, heal us all uh, when necessary. Tennyson can also pipe in and have her with the uh, Sage's Stone, so that's a free uh, uh, he heal us. Also, uh, Prince Oni only has the Vivify spell, and that only has a 50% chance of uh, bringing somebody back. Uh, so yeah, it's a coin toss, whereas uh, everybody else has the Revive spell, which 100% guaranteed to bring people back. So when you have a casualty like how Sadie was just knocked out there, uh, you're going to have to rely on probably somebody else. Uh, you could take the coin flip with Prince Oni, but uh, in a battle like this, you don't want to take many chances when uh, Prince Oni is uh, low, he can just single target himself. You can't spam. Uh, he lets all cast so much uh, MP to use, so you can't really be spamming it all the time. So he's gonna have to take time, uh, you know, uh, attacking when he can, uh, if he gets by killed up, or casting just the heal all spell on single target. Uh, like, for instance, like, he might cast a single target on himself right here now, uh, because he's the only one who's really, really hurting. So we're just going to re-establish our buffs. We've got Tennyson and Sadie. Got the barrier up. So we're uh, pretty good here. So uh, we'll uh, our two attackers who are by killed. Uh, just straight up attack. And then we'll just use heal alls on Tennyson and Sadie. Because they're the ones who are really hurting uh, bad. Get them back up to full. Indy's a little low, but since she's most likely not going to be targeted by any of Zoma's uh, physical attacks, uh, she's still safe, even though a physical attack probably would have taken her out. Good thing that Sadie dodged there with the Cloak of Evasion. Give us that 20% dodge chance, so that helps. Now I don't have, uh, Indy don't have much to do, so she'll buy kill herself. And unfortunately... Right after she by kills herself, Zoma uses that uh, freezing ray to take away all the buffs that we had. But it doesn't matter because uh, we come through and finish off Zoma anyway without the Sphere of Light. And uh, just like uh, the last time when he defeated him earlier, uh, he sees the vision where somebody's going to follow him later on. And of course, that will be the Dragon Lord back in Dragon Warrior 1. So, yeah, this was like the prequel to Dragon Warrior 1. Uh, so go check out that playthrough with uh, with uh, Chicken, and you can basically learn the whole lineage of Prince Ernie. Take care, have a good one, thanks for following along. Bye.